everyone, in this video I'm going to be filming a tag and it's the 7 deadly sins of beauty tag. Now, I've seen this one quite a bit on YouTube so far and I actually put on my Facebook page a little question there of what video you'd like to see next and pretty much everyone voted for the 7 deadly beauty sins tag so that's what I'm going to do today. So I've got the questions up here and let's begin answering them. Okay, so the question number one is to do with greed and it says what is your most inexpensive beauty item and what is your most expensive? So I'll start with the most inexpensive and that would be these MUA lipsticks which you can pick up in Superdrug. Now pretty much all of the MUA line, in fact I think it's definitely all of the MUA line, is a pound. Which is absolutely amazing value especially if you're on a budget and you're looking for some makeup to stock up on. Um, these lipsticks are really quite nice. Now I actually have two of the shades but unfortunately one of them has broken and the little twist thing actually doesn't twist the lipstick up which is a shame because it's quite a nice colour. Um, I have number seven and number three. Number three is this really nice sort of hot pink colour and they're just really quite nice and creamy and very pigmented so um, that's my most inexpensive beauty item. Okay so my most expensive beauty item would probably have to be my MAC palettes. Now these are fairly expensive when you sort of top them up um, per eyeshadow and then the palette. Now I think the actual palettes are £15 um, and then each of these little eyeshadows is £12 I think. So I think that ranks up to sort of £200 which is absolutely ridiculous for um, eyeshadows. But I mean this palette is used by me like every other day, if not every day. Um, so I mean I have got so much use out of this and I think for the amount of times that I've used it, I mean it's not really justifiable but I guess I can kind of justify it to an extent that every colour in here is one that I use or can use on a daily basis. Um, so this is my neutral palette and yeah some really nice colours in there. So um, that's the MAC eyeshadow palettes. So if I wasn't counting the eyeshadow palettes and I was just talking about one individual product, I guess it'd have to be my um, Chanel, Soleil Tan de Chanel uh, or Bronze Universal Cream Bronzer. Now I actually have hit pan on this, <laughs> which is quite amazing because there's a lot of product in here that is 30 grams. And it's basically just a really nice cream bronzer. I use this every single day, both under my foundation um, to sculpt my cheeks a little bit and over to just give me a little bit more um, of a nice contour. It is quite orange toned so I tend to take my foundation brush and just buff it over the top so it sort of mutes it down a little bit but this is around £30 but for me it's completely worth it because I absolutely love it and I just get a lot of use out of it. Question number two is all about wrath and the first section or the first question in this little area is what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? and what product has been the hardest to get hold of. So I guess um, my love-hate relationship kind of product is definitely pigments. Now I absolutely love pigments but I think it's just because I love the look of them. Um, I just think they're so beautiful and I do have some absolutely stunning colours but I just find that they're too hard to work with when you're in a rush and unless I've got quite a lot of time to get ready if I'm going on a night out or something like that and I've got like a couple of hours where I can just sit down and just sort of faff around with my makeup I don't really tend to use them and they're just a little bit neglected um, so I've just brought a couple here to show you these are the Barium Dazzle Dusts now I have like so many colours of the Barium Dazzle Dusts I think I need to do a little bit of a blog sale or something actually but I think they're all really really nice, I mean there's nothing wrong with them, they're really highly pigmented, they give just the most beautiful look on your eyes and they're just stunning but um, they're very messy and they're just quite hard to use when you're in a rush. So on a day to day basis I just kind of leave them sad in a little place at the back of my drawer, um, a little bit neglected but I do love them so that's my love hate relationship would be pigments. Okay, and the second part of this question is what products have been the hardest to get hold of? And that would definitely be, for me, Makeup Forever products. Now, I really, really love Makeup Forever's products. Um, I've got two of my favourites here. 
but they're just so hard to get hold of if you live in the UK. I mean, unless you're sort of down in London and you can get... In fact, I don't even know where you can get them from in London, but um, I know you can definitely get them sort of in Europe and in America. But I just can't get hold of them unless you order them online and then you've got to pay quite a lot for shipping. It's quite difficult to get hold of, but I do really love these products. So I've got the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara which I'm a huge fan of and I just think works amazingly, I really do like that mascara. And then also the Makeup Forever HD blushes, um, this is in the shade number 5 and I think these are just phenomenal, you need the tiniest, tiniest amount of product and it will just do sort of both cheeks and just give you a really nice creamy sort of blush. Um, so I really like Makeup Forever products but again they're just so hard to get hold of so it's hard to sort of test them out and try new things. Okay, so question number three is all about gluttony and it says, what are your most delicious beauty products? Now, um, I'm going to go with sort of like delicious smelling and I'm trying to stay away from makeup because everything so far has been makeup. So I'm going to talk about my Body Shop Body Butters, which I absolutely love and I'm a huge fan of. Um, I have four of them and I'll just go through my two favourites. So this is the, I was going to say this is the shade, this is the scent, <laughs> Moringa or Moringa. Um, this is for normal to dry skin and it's just, oh, it just smells lovely. This is probably my favourite scent. It's just quite floral but quite delicate and it's just very elegant and it moisturises amazingly and it just makes me feel like really delicious <laughs> and it does, um, the scent does linger on your skin as well so I mean if you put this on you'll be able to smell it all day long and I actually get compliments when I wear this one on my perfume even though it's not my perfume it's actually this body butter <laughs> so that's that one. I then have the um, aloe body butter okay that's Millie barking <laughs> second. <laughs> Sorry about that, Millie was just barking downstairs so I had to go and get her but okay let's carry on. So the second, my second favourite body butter is the coconut shimmer one. Now I use this for my legs in the summer and it's just really nice. Oh I'm out of breath now. Shows how unfit I am. Um, yeah it smells of coconut, it's got shimmer in it and it's just absolutely delicious, it reminds me of my holidays this one. So they are definitely my most delicious beauty products and they just make me feel really fruity and fresh and like I said they linger on your skin so they just smell amazing for hours so really like those. So I've just realised I've probably made a little bit of a mistake here because number four is actually about sloth and it says what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? So I think that probably should have been the eyeshadow pigments for that, for that um, question but I'm just going to change it and do another product that I've been a little bit lazy with recently and that has got to be fake tanning. Now you probably know if you've watched some of my older videos that I'm a little bit of a fake tanning addict but something's happened to me. <laughs> I don't know what's happened but I just haven't been bothered about doing my fake tan recently and I think I know why and I think it's because when I used to do my fake tan I was going out quite a bit with friends and going on nights out and I'd be wearing like dresses and skirts and I'd have my legs out so I'd want those to be tanned and then obviously I just did the rest of my body to match but um, I haven't really been going out that much recently and it's been a little bit cold over winter to get my legs out anyway and I've just sort of embraced the pale skin really but um yeah, fake tan has probably been neglected a little bit recently due to laziness um, but I definitely am going to be fake tanning over the summer. So I've brought two of my favourites to show you here. This is the Samaritz Dark Mousse which is basically um, the same as the Saint Tropez Tanning Mousse but the only thing that I don't like about this is it makes my skin feel really dry which is why um, I use a lot of this Moringa Body Butter because this is for sort of drier skins. Um, but I mean it gives you an amazing colour and as long as you exfoliate it stays looking quite nice. So that's the Sam Ritz Dark um, Instant Mousse tanning thing. 
Um, and then this is another one that I really like and this is from Saint Tropez and it's their Everyday Perfect Legs. Now the thing that, I, oh gosh this is really dirty. <laughs> the thing that I really like about this is it actually has two separate pumps. Now the black side is an instant self tan. I think it's the black side. Yeah. The black side is an instant fake tan so it's sort of quite a, a dark brown lotion. It's almost like a, a foundation for your legs because it does have a little bit of um, coverage to it and it just makes your legs look really flawless and tanned. And then the white side is a gradual tanner so this one's a great one to use if you want to use the gradual one overnight and then just top it up with a little bit of the instant tan when you're going out. So I really like the um, perfect legs from Saint Tropez. Okay so question number five is all about pride and it says what beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? Now I think for me it's got to be red lips or just sort of any bright um, coloured lips. I just think that when I wear a red lip I feel so much more confident. I don't know I just feel nicer about the way I look when I have a red lip on and I feel a little bit more like empowered and like feminine. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I didn't used to be that brave about wearing red lips but now I've been just rocking the red whenever I can really. I mean I'm wearing sort of like a bright ready pink um, today which I'm just sort of in the house filming videos but um, I do often wear red when I go out as well. So I've just bought, how many have I got? Four of my favourite red lipsticks to show you. A lip liner and a lip gloss. So this is sort of my like perfect red lip combo. So I really like this um, red lip liner from Barry M and this is in the shade 25 and it's just a bright um, red colour basically. Um, and then four of my favourite lipsticks, the first one is from All For Eve and it's in the colour Eve Red which just looks like this. It's sort of a, just like a, a plain pillar box red colour. Um, and this one is from L'Oreal and it's one of their Colour Riche Serum lipsticks so this is a really nice one if you don't like the feeling of sort of really sort of dry red lipsticks because this one's really really moisturising and almost leaves a glossy look and it's in the colour True Red and it looks like this, it actually has a bar of lip balm through the middle of it as well which is really nice. The third one is from MAC and this is from the Venomous Villains collection and it's in the shade Heartless and this is sort of a little bit of a deeper darker red and it doesn't have any sheen to it so that's really nice. And then this is one of the sleek pout, paint, pout paints in the colour Pin Up 157. So these are like the OCC lip tars, you need the tiniest little amount of this on a lip brush and it just gives you a gorgeous true deep red glossy lip. So I think this one is probably one of my favourite reds to wear because I really really like this. And then the red lip gloss that I really love is from Barry M and it's in the shade, oh, it's in colour number 6 and it's just um, a bright red glitter lip gloss. This is like Dorothy's sparkly red shoes in a tube. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing and it smells like, like, what is it, like cherry sweets but it's just gorgeous. I really like that for putting it over the top of my red lips. That's the sort of genre of products that gives me the most self-confidence, other than like foundation and the rest of my makeup. <laughs> okay, so number six is about lust, and it says, what attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? Now, I'm not quite sure what this is doing in a beauty tag, but um, I'm going to answer it anyway. Um, the thing that I find most attractive in a guy is if they're nice and friendly and just like real gentlemen. Um, if they can make me laugh and eyes, I always look at people's eyes. So um, yeah, number seven is about envy and it says what items would you most like to receive as a gift? Um, I haven't thought about this question, well I have but I couldn't think of an answer. So what product would I most like to receive as a gift? I guess um, fragrances, I really like collecting perfumes and it's nice to receive perfumes because I think you can never really go wrong with a perfume because you can always mix it with others and create like a custom scent so I guess I'd most like to receive perfume 
are some nice like high quality makeup like Chanel or Nars or something like that. Okay so that brings us to the end of our seven deadly sins of beauty tag, <laughs> I think that's what it's called anyway. So I really hope you enjoyed watching the video and I'm going to have a link down there to my blog post on this where I'll have more photos of the products that I mentioned. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video everyone. Bye!